Hello and welcome to another edition of Kiadini's Kitchen, video game recipes made real. Now this week's recipe is brand new because the game, well it only came out last week. We're doing a sauerkraut burger from Wolfenstein 2. So as it turns out, there's a recipe in Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, referred to rather excitingly as cookbook recipe. Lots of you got in touch on Twitter to let me know of its existence, so thank you very much for flagging it up. I haven't actually got round to playing Wolfenstein 2 yet. So the recipe itself reads as follows. Fry or grill a patty of ground hamburger meat. Put patty on top of bottom half a whole grain bread roll. Okay. Spread a thick layer of German mustard on the burger. Add a hearty dollop of sauerkraut on top. Place thick strips of speck on the sauerkraut. Put top half of bread roll over the speck and squeeze gently. Serve the burger with pickled cucumber, boiled potatoes and a stout of robust German beer. Well, that sounds delicious, so I think I'm going to do just that. Thank you very much. Right, so step one, I've got some potatoes in a pan here, and I'm just going to start boiling those and stick a lid on to help the water get up to temperature a bit quicker. I guess you could call this Wolfenstein the new potatoes, if you like bad jokes. Right, so while those potatoes are getting up to the boil, we're going to turn our attention to the hamburger meat. Now, according to Kenny Shopson, who is a restaurateur slash chef in, I think, New York City, you want to use a meat that is about 20 to 30% fat, which I know sounds like a lot, but it's the best way to get that sort of meaty crust under the burger when you cook it. Okay, so we've got some cheap fatty beef mince here, and what we are going to do is just season it. with a good pinch of salt and a twist of pepper then we're going to crack in an egg just to bind it all together there we go and we're just going to get our hands in here to make sure everything is nicely combined and we can start shaping hamburger patties right so for this patty I'm going to be using about a quarter, I think, of the meat. I'm just using my hands there. I'm going to shape it into a rough burger shape, like that. There we go. So, before we actually cook up the burger, I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute. I'm going to prep the rest of the accoutrement. Um, so that we don't have to spend too much time faffing around uh, once the burger's actually cooked and we can get it all together as quickly as possible. So, just going to slice the roll like that, Run all the way through, there we go. And I'm also going to cut some thick strips of speck, though to be honest uh, the speck I got isn't so much sort of dry cured meat as it is, it's more like Nordic bacon really, but uh, it'll do anyway. See what you can find when you go to the shop. There we go, thick strips, got it. Right, so now all that's prepped, we can start frying up the burger. I've got a little iron skillet here. I'm gonna heat this up until it's really, really hot. Then I'm gonna stick the burger in for two and a half minutes on either side. And very importantly, I'm not gonna press down on the burger while cooking it because that pushes out all of the delicious juices, which you really wanna keep in there. Just a little tip. Here's our burger. I actually ended up doing it for three and a half minutes on either side just because the burger was a bit thicker than I anticipated. But anyway, it's time to assemble this thing. Let me just set up the camera. Right, so step one is a thick layer of mustard over the meat. There we go. And a hearty dollop of sauerkraut. Then the slices of speck. Oh my god, let's just keep it at one because that is fairly massive. Anyway. Then it says to put the top on the bun and squeeze gently. And of course, because Wolfenstein is a game about Nazis, I'm just going to give it a gentle little punch. 
And there we go, we've added in our boiled potatoes and pickled cabbage, and that is the sauerkraut burger from Wolfenstein 2. Um, it certainly looks good, and it looks, ha, colossal, um, but how does it taste? It's time to find out. I have a sneaking suspicion this is gonna be difficult to do with one hand. But we'll give it a go anyway. Here it is. It's God, this is a big burger. All right, let's have a go. <laughs> right. So that mustard's quite punchy. Um. Oh boy. A little bit too much mustard in that, I think. Um, the thick layer. You should maybe take. Um, under advisement, take it with a pinch of salt. But um, once the initial hit of the, the quite strong mustard goes away, that's really delicious. Um, there's a sweetness to the speck, which plays really nicely with the sauerkraut and the um, the burger itself. It's just a really good burger, basically. I mean, like we knew this was going to be a success from the very top because um, that's just a lot of delicious ingredients. I've never had sauerkraut in a burger before, and I am genuinely at this point questioning why not because. I really like sauerkraut and that is bloody tasty. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Chiodini's Kitchen. As ever, please do keep those recipe suggestions coming in um, because it's really helpful when I haven't played a game yet and you spot a recipe and you let me know so we can get right on it and make a video. So uh, yeah, with that, um, there are plenty more videos for you to watch from Eurogamer. Some of them should be on screen now. Do please like and subscribe because it really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.